A new docu-series pulling back the curtain on the training that it takes to be a professional dancer. On Point, produced by Ron Howard, goes inside the School of American Ballet in New York City. And one of its star students is from right here in West Michigan. Michelle DeSelms has more in our community conversation. For Kennedy Targus, dancing is more than just a hobby, something fun to do. It is her passion. And at just 17 years old, she already knows this is exactly what she wants to do for the rest of her life. Not just a dream for someday, but she is putting in the work that it takes to make it happen right now. On most days, this is where you'll find her. Point shoes laced up, focus, and determination in her eyes. The dance studio is where Kennedy feels most at home. Dancing was like a way for me to like communicate and express myself without having to talk. Even at a young age, her dancing spoke for itself. I mean, I guess we always thought she was special, but um, I guess teachers would start approaching us like, asking us if she'd be interested in doing a solo. Well, we just kind of took cues from teachers. There was one teacher in particular. Good, pretty. Try that fourth again. Mr. David says he knew from the minute he spotted her that she was going to be a star. I saw her across a studio through the glass window. She was doing hip hop and well, but you know, not terribly well. <laughs> and I was like, who is that girl? She needs to be a ballerina. They started working together. One, two, one sharper that last spot and kennedy blossomed beautiful hours upon hours in the studio during the week traveling to dance competitions around the country on the weekends and in the summer an even bigger step the school of american ballet in new york city i was 12 when i first auditioned for their summer course in new york and so at that point i didn't realize like how big of a deal the school really was here's how big a deal sab is 3,000 dancers audition each year 200 are invited to summer camp about a dozen get asked to stay for the entire year kennedy was 14 when sab invited her to stay year round to move to new york city and take that first leap toward a career as a professional dancer. Kennedy was prepared. Her parents, not quite as ready. They definitely really thought about it and like thought through everything, but in the end, they knew that it was like the right decision for me to go because I, that's what I really wanted and like the school is where I wanted to go. We can't say no. If we do, it's for our own selfish reasons. We have to um, let her pursue her dream and so that's uh, the decision we made and and um, we've never really looked back they talk daily getting glimpses of Kennedy's big city life and it's great because she's there you know at a Starbucks near Central Park and you can see the Empire State in the background and I ask her what she's doing she's like I'm studying she's like what are you doing dad and I'm like uh, I'm at Wendy's on 28th Street <laughs> <laughs> The School of American Ballet is the preeminent ballet school in the U.S. Now the On Point docuseries shows just how rigorous the training is at SAB. It shows how athletic, how determined, how committed these kids are. And it shines the spotlight on these dancers, giving them the recognition usually reserved for other athletes. When you become maybe a pro athlete, there's this huge reward publicly and financially with ballerinas, you are doing it purely for the love of ballet. Kennedy's hoping this hard work pays off. Her ultimate goal, a professional dance company. New York City Ballet, of course, is like the dream company because SAB is the official school for the New York City Ballet, so that's the ultimate goal, but I'd be happy dancing anywhere. And whether she stays with ballet or not, just watching her grow into the woman she's becoming and, and the experience that she's gaining and, and uh, how she's growing as a person through this and maturing has just been uh, really great to watch as a parent. We just, want to, we just want to see her happy. And so part of that is her achieving her goals, but you know, we're just letting life take its course and hoping for the best. And for other shy girls who find their home in the dance studio, I would say to just go for it, like if this, if you know this is what you really want, like do everything that you can to keep going. So Kennedy has been back home in West Michigan this year because of the COVID pandemic, but she is headed back to New York to finish out the rest of the semester. And then next year is a really big year, her senior year. She will begin the audition process to get into a professional company. With Community Conversation, I'm Michelle DeSelms.